All right, we're gonna knock the oil line off of this puppy. Which I've already broke that one loose, which is a 7 16 which is a good thing. And I broke it loose before I started fooling with it. So I do this up knocking this camera over. But if any of y'all have ever done a project like this, what did I get? done something like this like and uh like subscribe and comment and let me know what y'all worked on and what you tore apart sometimes well the engine may not be that bad to take apart on this thing don't think it old guy food will hit too much maybe a good thing all right let's put the oil line over here All right, let's see if this other piece will come off here. It's a half inch and I knew that. No, it's not. It ain't a seven sixteenths in that. It ain't a half inch. <coughs> it ain't a half inch, it's gotta be a seven sixteenths, right? Oops, sorry about that, knock the camera over. Kind of surprising that it just popped that loose that easy. Let me get y'all to focus a little better and take that. All right, here we go again. You see a big blonde dog, don't mind her. This my will be Spark Plug the Yard Dog. So I hope y'all are enjoying these videos. I know they've there's some short ones and there's some longer ones. But as I get better camera equipment, they'll get a little better. But yeah, the engine's not the engine stuff's not been fighting me too bad. So far it's the cosmetics. All the cosmetic stuff I've took off has been a trip, boy. But I'll try to keep the videos coming for y'all. Come on, get fingered loose now. All right, let me finish taking this. All right, I got that in loose. Let's get this in loose and see what we have. For some reason, I think. <clears throat> and y'all let me know what kind of videos y'all want to see on the channel, too, while we're at it here. Anything particular y'all are interested in, old farmer here, might can film for you. Get this off, I get the wool filter off of it. And then we're getting closer. If I had some line wrenches, this would go a little easier. But you use what you got. 
Probably got my big fat hand anyway. Let's see what I'm doing here. Yeah, these things, this is uh, where your oil filter goes right here. Where the line comes out. And they take a cartridge filter. Which was top of the line back in 1950. Which they're really simple to change. To change the oldness thing, you just take the top off your. Yeah, I'll show you. <clears throat> but change the oil. You just drain your oil out. And you got your fill plug over. Fill plug. Refill it. But to change the filter, just take your screw out. And this piece, this, the top of this, this comes off. You pull your cartridge filter right out of it. And you got a little drain plug. You drain the oil out of it. Put the new filter down in there. New oil. Fill her up, and you're ready to roll on this one. All right, let me see what else I can... Got to take off before I set the filter down here. All right, I got one more bolt remaining to take out, which is... Kind of hard. Right here. You know, these two bolts here. Take the filter holder off. I just went ahead and took the line off over here. So let's pop these out. Pop these two out. And set this puppy off. So I'm very surprised how loose these bolts are. I figured they'd have been torched, but very surprising all right let me take this off and i'll show you when i get it off and there we go i just left this line attached for right now that way it don't get lost don't get it mixed up but on this filter when you want to change the oil out there's your drain plug right sorry about that you pop your drain plug out and that's your whole filter cartridge holder makes sense this changes the internals of the filter instead of the whole filter <clears throat> But now that I've got this off, which it'll get cleaned up too. But let me get this up. I'm going to pick some tools up for the day. I'm going to end this video right here. And then the next time we get back out here, maybe I have me a pulley, get me a pulley puller. I'll go ahead and get this. I'm going to get this stern wheel. It's the only thing I like is pulling the stern wheel off and then. I'll have this loosened off, so that's where we're at on that. I'm not going to pull the starter until after I get it cleaned up. i got to get some nuts for going to take the bolts out. Those starters will come apart. But this thing, the engine on this thing is pretty simple to work on. But this is a 50 model, and it has, it's got the front distributor, so the alternator is on the right side. Now on my 52 that's running that I do, did the garden video on, and I'm going to be taken to the tractor ride. There'll be a video of the tractor ride coming up. It rained me out on that. So we rescheduled. As soon as we uh, go on the tractor ride, you'll hear that. And maybe I'll have that squeaky belt hushed on that one by then. But yeah, the, the alternator goes on the left-hand side on it because it's a side-mounted distributor, which is easier to get to than this front-mounted. But I hope I got all the ants killed out of this puppy. I filled it full of ant spray, which ain't good for the distributor, but I'm going to replace that anyway. And there's no telling how much dirt's in there from the ants. But I'll end this video right here, and I'll shoot y'all some more, and we'll go from there. Appreciate y'all watching. Remember, like and subscribe. Circle B Farms.